This is a survivor hive. It's uh, been surviving for years without treatment. And uh, as you see, very calm. Only thing I do in a year is uh, cutting away the. There are too many queen cells. So they don't swarm to this. Don't see any deformed wings. Pretty strong. No treatment for yeast. Don't need any protection to work them. That's being nice. What I do is to clean the, the top bars. No worries, no bees get hurt. Just be careful. Pushing through the comb. As you see, it's very dark comb. And a lot, a lot of propolis, which is what I reckon is needed to <coughs> let the bees survive. Back home, heaps of bees. Propolis, a lot of propolis. This is the bottom box, and uh, this is see lots and lots and lots of bees in there hanging down to the floor. I think they're probably going to swarm. Just giving a bit of smoke. Um, this is where you can see into the comb and see if I find some swarm cells but usually they are in the, between the first and second box not in the lowest box there's one cell or a cup gentle bees, very gentle bees Nice of the bees, they're nice to you. So, what you can do in fixed comb beekeeping, you can put the combs apart. This way, you can look into the combs and inspect the hive. No worries. You have the handles in the front, you can put it on its side and uh, have a look from below. Look from the bottom. You're working from the bottom, not from the top. This is the top, the ground. You have the things up there. 